Welcome to part 2 of how to edit like night drunk Zala in DaVinci Resolve. If you haven't seen the first part, I highly advise you to go watch this first and then come back to this video later. So let's jump right into it. Okay, next you have this. We didn't talk about this because it was all the way. It had to be in front of everything here. So we have this dollar transition. So it's just these dollars, just a BNG, as you can see. Then it just color corrected and the color corrector is just saturation all the way down and then we just have a transform as you can see and it just goes like diagonally from up to down from upper left corner to the lower right corner these are the values on the first keyframe at frame 112 and this is the size then on frame 147 these are the values and it just goes from up left and um, it just transitions from the first section into the second section with the coin okay then we go here and it splits and then it, he just talks and we have like this transition as you can see and into this dollar again section this transition is right here so it's just a white background Let's see it. White background with the ellipse mask on. So ellipse mask it has these settings. So background right there. We have a transform on it to make it bigger. So let's click on our transform. As you can see, size is 2.71. And these are the first keyframes on frame 288. And then when we go to the last keyframe, on frame 299 these are the values so it just goes like this okay this down here is an instance transform of this one this cup down there with the polygon mask that is connected to the merge mask and that looks something like this let's see then transform it just goes over but you see why do i have polygon mask so we have this soft edge here and it's not just when it goes over like let's see here you see it's just soft it doesn't cut off because of this polygon mask that we have here this is the polygon mask and let's see how it looks like so this is just the polygon mask these are the settings for the polygon mask okay then we have this transition into this dollar section so let's go there we have that money count this is just a video of the money going down. Then we have a color corrector. These are the settings for the color corrector. Let's see. Shadows are intact. Master midtone is intact and highlight is intact. So just these are the settings for the video. Then we have this text merged over. It starts right here. It has a write on effect. So I tell people every day, that's that's the text, and it goes from frame 301. It's right on his key framed at zero. Next key frame is on frame 302. Right on his key frame on these values. Next key frame 304. These values. Next on 305. These values. Next is uh, 310, these values here. Next 311 with these values. Next 328 with these values. Next 329 with these values here. Next at 335 with these values here. And, and as, as at 336 with these values here. So we also have a modifier on it. It's just character level styling. So this is white and then this is red. Okay. So let's go to settings. Let's see if we have anything else here. It just black shadow is enabled and it just has shadow. So then on merge blend is on 0.6 so actually this first text is this text behind that you see as it goes let's see here do you see this text behind this is that first text 
so it has a blend of 0.6 on the merge then we have the exact same text but this is the one in front with the glow so glow is here so this text is just copied over and merged over and the glow is added and on the merge we didn't do anything to the blend so let's see here again it starts at this this is text monster bold everything is the same except these write on keyframes so the first keyframe is on trio 2 and it starts with the eye already here then the next keyframe is at trio 5 and these are the start and end values why do we have different keyframes so for write on on this text and the one before because the other one should have been like the shadowy text behind and this just goes over it as it he speaks it just appears over the shadowy text so let's see next at 306 we have these here keyframes at 309 this is the values for this keyframe 310 this here 311 here 312 these values uh 313 here 314 these here values and then 315 at these values, 317 at these values, 328 at these values, 329 at these values, 330 at this value, 331 at this value, 336 at this value, 339 at this value. So 339 is the end and it's just all the way up. Okay, now we have this. As you can see, we have this like cursor here and it just goes before every single letter. So let's see what's up with that. As you can see, it just appears after the AI and then goes in front of the text like this. And same happens with the red text. We have a red cursor and it goes before it blows up the letters, as you can see. Okay, what's that? So it's just a cursor that's just the blue cursor right here as you can see with a rectangle mask so everything is masked out this is just a blue background with this rectangle here these are the settings of the rectangle and this rectangle mask is actually animated with the path we can go just to right click here and then click path and just these up here commands will show and then you just click and click where you want your path to end and that's where it will be animated on also we have a level animated as you can see here now it at half and the next keyframe it is full and then next one will again be half and then full like that that's just to simulate it like it's blinking when it's typing okay next we have the exact same thing but with the red one and as you can see right here on this rectangle same it has its own path so just modify with path and then it just happens here and goes to the end this one isn't blinking so there's that then it's added a glow over it so it just close and then a bit of a drop shadow and everything is merged over then then it's merged over again and at 344 it ends so it starts this money count starts at frame 296 and it ends on frame 344 so then it just disappears so after that we have this section right here so we have a background that just again the main clip which starts at frame 344 and ends at this one. So it's streamed 123 frames merged over. We have the same thing. So this is just the, the same thing with the green screen. And then we have Delta Gear and we have Delta Gear it out. So now he talks about different currencies and we have something like this. It goes down and then we have this here. I think it's yen. Yeah, here. So here is yen. It's just a picture of a yen. 
then we have a transform to make it smaller these are and that's this is not the basic transform when you type in transform so it's the one without the effects it's not this one it's this one so these are the keyframes for it let's go to the beginning these are the keyframes here on the frame 377 on the frame 385 these are the keyframes and then on the last frame 394 these are the keyframes here okay then it's color corrected this is the color cor correction tab so it just brought on to be a little bit more blue then it has some gaussian blur over it that's because when it's all the way big we want it to be blurred out so here on frame 377 it is blurred out this is the blur strength and on frame 394 it's all the way to zero so it's blurred out and as it zooms all the way in it stops being blurred in then we just have a bit of a camera shake so just to have a bit more sway to it a bit more movement then we have this merged over right here then we have a rupee that does does exactly the same it just comes in from here so again the transform these are the settings for the rupee this is the first keyframe 414 and then these are the second keyframes and these are the last ones it's basically the same transform it just go to keyframes and it just moved to start at the frame 414 so as you can see you can just select them all and move them however many frames you want and then they they would just show up there and then and let's go back and then we have a dollar merged over it goes after up again he has a transform on it the same as a transform just pushed to start at frame 448 then we have a color corrector on it these are the settings then we have a bit of a gaussian blur again everything is the same and it just merged over and the same exact thing happens to this peso here which is the last one so it just comes in like this it has a transform on it it goes here so it's here goes in again it just starts at frame 470 then we have a color corrector to make it more blue like this then we have again the gaussian blur the same everything is just moved then we have a camera shake and again we have a color generator then so when we click on the color generator the, from the camera shake it's connected to the output and to the mask and that's because we want this peso to turn red like this so let's go to settings just blend is just keyframe from zero on the frame 491 and then on the frame 500 is keyframed at this value so it just turns red and then we again have the same exact transition from before so you can just copy it over and select all of this and then go to keyframes and move everything as you can see we have this here it was all happening from the beginning of frame 268 so just copy it over right here and just move the keyframes to start from frame 481 and then we'll have one more after that so next thing we have let's see so everything that we just had there it's there's this background with the rectangle and the grid also and it just merged over and it's behind this here and then when this these are the grid settings actually so you can copy them that's because everything right here goes to this color corrector again the same color corrector as before these are the settings goes to this merge then has this transform so it can go down let's click on this transform and see when that happens so 
it happens right around here on frame 377 is keyframe just in the center then on keyframe 390 it goes down as you can see that's why we have that grid up there so it goes behind this when it goes down so it can continue on this grid here behind him so it looks like all one big grid okay now that we are over that again we have a grid and it's merged over here this is the grid settings so just background with no alpha this is a black background here as you can see that's the background behind it just merged over and on the merge these are the settings if you really want to know and these are the settings for the second grid so this second grid is this grid right here down here okay next what do we have when it goes and finishes these then we have again this transition right here i think oh there's one more so it's all right this one this is that transition yeah it is when we transition here we go to the family photo of kiyosaki's when robert kiyosaki was little we have this here this is the family photo then we have this merged three times over that's this white space so it just white background as you can see with this rectangle here and why is it merged three times over that's because as you can see here we have it on the mother's face on this baby's face and as it goes over we have it on the father's face as well so these are just the settings this is the settings for the first merge these are the settings for the second these are the settings for the third merge then we have camera shake on the whole photo now you can see it better so this is the first one here second here and the third one is here then we have a transform on all of that so it just makes it bigger these are the settings for the transform and just grows from right to left as you can see here so on the frame 514 we have it keyframed here and on frame 548 we have it keyframed here then it just color corrected so just so we can make it a bit blue and then here we have this it's merged over everything then we have this vignette so it darkens the area around Kiyosaki when he was little these are the settings for the vignette as you can see here goes to here so from frame 522 this is keyframed here and then on frame 552 this is the value right here and then we have again this transition so just select everything here copy it over to merge it again and go just go to frame when it starts to frame 587 so we can just open all of this like this and just you can select everything and move it to the frame you want okay then it just happens and then we are left again with just the main screen when this is over and then we have just have this transform that starts just zooming in so we just have a size and it zooms in to right about here so that's not Gonzalez edit of robert this kiyosaki real recreated in davinci resolve if you still have some questions please ask them down in the comments i will try to answer what i can thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one